want you to put in the box all the things your pelvic floor therapist did with you. This could be a really long list or it could be a very short list, but I just want you to share with us um, what your pelvic floor therapist offered for you and go from there. So just as an example, like for my patients, the treatment and interventions are going to vary depending on what they're presenting with, what their primary complaints are, et cetera, et cetera. But the things that I offer to patients at different you know, frequencies or intervals or whether I give it to them or not, like this isn't for every single person. These are the things I feel comfortable doing with my patients. Education on diet, hydration, supplements, sometimes medication side effects, things like that. Um, I do internal exams. I do external pelvic exams and orthopedic exams. So I will also look at their feet. I can look at knees and hips and back and see what else could be contributing. I do walking and running analyses. Um, I'll check pelvic floor in different positions, not just in supine. I'll do standing. I'll do quadruped. I'll do during functional movements. Um, I can't prescribe pessaries yet, but I will check them and see if it looks like they're a good fit for that person. Internal exams can also include a rectal exam. I also feel comfortable talking about, you know, what's normal with bladder and bowel habits during the day, uh, frequency, duration, urgency, and then treating all those things. Um, I talk to my patients a lot about bladder retraining, bowel retraining, um, tips for constipation, so using a squatty potty, exercises, things like that, and then um, teaching people how to use tools, so pelvic wands, um, Kegel muscle trainers, dilators, all those types of things. Um, manually, I will do abdominal massage. Um, I do a lot of hands-on stuff with my patients and then exercise. So with exercise, it's not just Kegels. Um, I'll teach them ways to relax their pelvic floor if they need to relax it. I'll teach them ways to strengthen their pelvic floor if they need to strengthen it. And then of course, getting people back to whatever functional movements or exercises they want to get to. So that's all.